Hello everyone, welcome to Consultair and interlinkiq.com. To conduct a document review utilizing your records program under the SQF module 2.2.3, first check if the document title matches the uploaded file name on the dashboard. In this instance, we do have the same titles as the records program. Next, both must have the same document code. For this example, we do have the 2.2.3. And since this is a template, we indicate the PCQI as the account initials. However, we can customize the code based on the company's initials. For the page number, we use the page X of Y format to ensure that it reflects the current page position and the total page number of the document. Then insert the company logo here together with the company name and company address. And you may also enter the designated department. For the originated by section, it can be the food safety, quality assurance, or the quality control personnel of the company. The originator ensures the implementation of the quality management and document control system. Enter the name of the originator, affix the signature, position title, and the date originated. For the reviewed by section, it can be the personnel assigned in the quality management department, who reviews the drafted document or its revision for accuracy and implementation. Again, enter the name of the reviewer, affix the signature, position title, and the date reviewed. For the approved by section, it must be the person in the C-level management who has the approval authority. Enter the name of the approver, affix the signature, position title, and the date approved. For the revision date, it is the same as the date originated or drafted by the author. For the effective date, it is the date the document was signed and approved. Publication date is when the document is published for distribution and initiated personal training. The implementation date is when the document is distributed and personal training is completed. For the supersedes, both original for initial issuance of the document and for any revisions, reflect the initial revision date before the current revision. And please be reminded that this section must be properly filled out to be compliant. Now, we will focus on the components of the program. First, we have this purpose. The purpose is the implementation of any certification standard or compliance with a regulatory requirement. For this program, it is for implementation with the SQF Module 2 Edition 9 for food manufacturing under clause 2.2.3. And under purpose, we have to implement the SQF 2.2.3.1. The methods, frequency, and responsibility for verifying, maintaining, and retaining records shall be documented and implemented. Next, implement SQF 2.2.3.2. All records shall be legible and confirmed by those undertaking monitoring activities that demonstrate inspections, analysis, and other essential activities that have been completed. To implement SQF 2.2.3.3, records shall be readily accessible, retrievable, and securely stored to prevent unauthorized access, loss, damage, and deterioration, Retention period shall be in accordance with customer, legal, and regulatory requirements. At minimum, the product shelf life are established by the site. If no, shelf life exists. Next, to comply with 21 CFR 117.315 requirements for record retention. Second is the scope. The scope of the program is based on the purpose and serve as a guide in defining and describing the layout of the procedure. And under scope, we have the records and retention of records. Third, we have the policy. The policies are the rules set by the company as their implementation guide. Under policy, we have a written procedure on the site documents, responsibility for completing records. Examples are monitoring, inspection, test records, and etc. And identifying those responsible for verifying the records are developed. Records are retained under secure conditions as required by customer specification and legislation. Employees responsible for monitoring and recording activities are aware of the importance of maintaining all records clearly and legibly and recording the information when the activity is performed. 
Records meant to be collected periodically at established intervals such as for testing or auditing are collected per frequency. Next, the sites ensure that the staff responsible for verifying food safety record signs and date each record they review as part of their verification activities. The site has the means to manage the electronic security of records, electronic signature of monitors and reviewers, and the means of electronic review. The methods and responsibility for ensuring the safety and accuracy of electronic records and documents are documented and implemented. For the procedure, the procedure is a step-by-step -step process and the actual implementation of the policy. And under this, we have the records. Records collect and retain information about processing operations in clear, concise, legible, and accurate forms. On paper-based records, the use of correction fluid to address correction is not recommended. Align through the inaccurate recording with accurate recording and initials of the monitor is recommended. Paper records are stored in filing cabinets, are not damaged, and readily available and can be retrieved for investigation purposes. Storage may be in filing cabinets, segregated per customer per quarter year, or filled electronically on the company server. The site has the means to manage the electronic security of records, the electronic signature of monitors and reviewers, and the means for electronic review. Next, we have the retention of records. Monitoring, inspection, and test records are retained for two years. Testing records, clinical, shelf life studies, and etc. are retained for two years commencing on the last calendar year. The product is no longer distributed for commerce. Auditing and or verification records are retained indefinitely for electronic records or paper-based paper records. Facility records such as maintenance and service contracts are retained indefinitely while the company is at the facility location. Other records such as accounting, finance, personal training, and legal contracts are retained for minimum of 2 to 7 years and up to maximum allowable by law of 10 years. On paper-based records, you may refer to the Document Control Program. Paper records are maintained and readily available for a minimum of 3 years. Retention records are kept by legislation, customer requirements, or insurance coverage. Apart from those requirements, the general rule is to retain records for the commercial shelf life of the product. Example, the maximum time before consumption. Records are retained beyond the next recertification audit for short shelf life products as a minimum. Fifth, we have the responsibility. The responsibility of the person is indicated. It covers what to perform to comply with the procedure and policy. Under responsibility, we have the SQF practitioner. It verifies monitoring, inspection, and test records, maintains monitoring, inspection, and test records, retains monitoring, inspection, and test records, controls document changes and modifications. Next, we have the supervisors and the managers, amends and approves all specification in the document and records. Periodic document review to ensure system efficacy. Six, we have the corrective action. The corrective action is the process of taking appropriate steps to eliminate causes of non-conformities or other undesirable situation. Any inefficiencies detected in complying with the records program are addressed immediately by the FSMS management and had been reviewed based on the document control program. If corrupted electronic and paper-based records are present, electronic records are manually recorded based on paper-based documents. For inconsistencies in the results of inspections, analysis, and other essential activities that require monitoring and records, the staff responsible for verifying and reviewing the documents are questioned. 7. The review quality. The review section serves as a guidelines for conducting the annual or periodic review. Document procedures defining the methods and responsibilities for undertaking activities to monitor critical control points and other activities necessary to maintain food safety and accurately and legibly record results. Documented procedures defining the methods and responsibilities for verifying monitoring activities and accurately and legibly recording results. 
documented procedures defining the methods and responsibilities for undertaking testing and or auditing activities and accurately and legibly recording results. Accurate and legible records for all required activities at defined frequencies. Understanding of actions required when recorded results show deviation from values needed, examples, outside critical limits. Records and securely stored and accessible. Eight, we have the reference documents. The reference documents are the set of documents used to implement and monitor a program, policy, and procedure. And we have here the document control program. Next, we have the reference. The reference section is composed of guides to utilize implement the program. Examples are the certification guides, regulations, and other widely accepted scientific journals, research, and the like. It is also must comply with the standard format citation, which can be based on either MLA, APA, Chicago style, and update the access date. And we have here the SQF Institute, Food Safety Code, Food Manufacturing, 2.2.3, Records Mandatory Edition 9, FMI 2020. Next, we have the FDA U.S. Food and Drug Administration, Code of Federal Regulation Title 21, Food and Drug Chapter 1, Food and Drug Administration Department of Health and Human Services Chapter B, for Food for Human Consumption Part 117, Current Good Manufacturing Practice, Hazard Analysis and Risk-Based Preventive Controls for Human Subpart F. Requirements Applying to Records that Must be Established and Maintained, Section 117.315. Requirements for Records Retention, Volume 2. Lastly, we have the History. The History section is where we can update the program if there are any changes or revisions made in the document. For the revision number, if there is a revision, enter the revision number. The revision date, the description of change made, the author or the originator name, and the title or department of the author or the originator. Thank you for participating in this document review. Content presented are for training purposes only and are based on interpretations of standards and best practices and must be customized for your intended use. To fully customize your programs, policies, procedures, forms for records, and lessons for training, you may contact Interlink IQ or Consultor Inc. at services at interlinkiq.com or simply call 202-982-3002. For free access, visit interlinkiq.com.